Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's do some cleanup. This is going to be like a, uh, not a cleanup episode, just kind of going back and, and doing some stuff we were supposed to do. Um, we're going to chat with this guy. Ooh, yeah. Good. The fuck? Must be twitching with the light. I really don't care what he has to say. It's that I want an event that he has to. So yeah, there is the heavy gem. By gaining admission to the Legion is a matter of some set inside their keep, snuffing out the food. So if you didn't know where to go, talking to NPCs is a really good idea because he just lets you in. If you're stuck and don't know what to do to get to the Undead Legion, he gives you, literally gives you the Off exact. The Lords of Cinder. So that's how they're delivered. <laughs> um, he literally gives you basically directions on how to Sorry. how to do it. Which is pretty forgiving for a Souls game. Yeah, and there's our ring. Oh, we actually have two rings. We'll get two rings in this episode, actually. So, I pity... Yeah, okay, so he's done. Um, so we are going to go ahead and go upstairs. Because we have a couple things to get out here now. Now that we have that... Oh, God damn it. Come on. I really do not have time for you to fucking do do thing. Let me through. Oh, and if you need to know where Patches is. Oh, well, he should be right here. I don't know why he isn't. I don't know what I did wrong with his quest line, but he should be right there. Um, if you do his quest line correctly. Oh, and we'll go ahead and grab our. No. Examine. Thank you. Give me the tree. So every time you get invaded, there's a chance that this giant tree will drop a seed and so if you don't know seeded worlds so there is a soul of a deserted corpse you can get um seeded worlds will oh this is why we don't have patches yet because i haven't done this event so yeah i, I kind of got ahead of myself but patches will be in that little alcove after you do what i'm about to do so yeah this is a, another cool um kind of vista uh view you can look at i love it and I love the wind blowing. I love that. Um, that effect, that wind blowing effect. It's it's great. So we're going to go ahead and do this first. And watch carefully. Alright, so now we're up here. And this is actually not what I came up here for. But this is the Firekeeper Soul. So that's for another ending. Um, if I'm not mistaken. I honestly, I was really in depth. Like I knew how to get each an ending. And each, like the variant of one of them. <gasps> oh my god, look. Sorry, friend. Patches. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is going to kill you. Some places are better left alone, you know. Yeah, but you're, you don't have to be a dick. Am I? <laughs> He's a dick. P patches the hyena in every game. I don't... Except in Bloodborne, there's a Patches... Well, no, he still kicks you down a hill. Ah! P patches... Anything named Patches in a Miyazaki game is an asshole. Have no fear. Besides, you're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream. So that's the dialogue I kind of wanted, because you don't really see it but this whole tower is a mausoleum. So if you look down, there's shit down there, which we're going to get. We're probably going to die on the fall because I'm an idiot and can never fucking get down this tower, right? Like, that's the item I always go for, and you can't get that. Well, not without dying, anyway. Um, but if you don't die, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually come up behind patches. Um, I might be wrong, I'm not sure. Oof, I shouldn't have done that. This is what I was, the ring I was looking for. Estus ring. So this completes our little set here. Um, I don't know, we'll probably switch back and forth between the more stamina and then the Estus ring. So, let's read these. Reduces skill FP consumption, so that's what the Pharaon ring does, that's what, uh... I don't remember, I can't remember his name. Um... 
the uh, uh, ring given to the undead legion of Faron reduces skill FP consumption. So that actually makes sense to give to Faron, like the Faron legion, because they use all the flipping and the you know all that shit so much that it you know it's like game logic meets lore. It's kind of cool. Um, I, mm. Yeah, like the, the Abyss Watchers for their hunting required a sword technique that went beyond any existing art. Wolf's Blood provided just that, and this ring, ring it further extends the effect. So yeah, it, it's kind of cool. It, it leads game logic into lore. Like I said, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. And then Estus Ring. A green ring crafted from shards increases HP restored by Estus Flask. So yeah, we're going to put that on and we are never going to take it off. So yeah, those are the most overpowered rings in the game, essentially. Oh, and look, <laughs> this is where we fought the master in the very beginning. Uh, so yeah, if you pop out here and you haven't killed him, uh, be ready for a, a big fat surprise because you'll, well, actually you'll probably kill him almost immediately just because he'll be butt cake easy. All right, give me this west, east, west shield. Everybody knows the east side and the west side don't get along. There was a whole story about that. Doesn't everybody know? God. Alright, so... Now that we've dealt with Patches being a dick... He's right there. <laughs> See? And this is where he goes, Oh, I'm so sorry. You're alive. He gets all now, sniveling with you. Let's have a nice talk about yeah, essentially he tried to kick you down a well. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it though. It yeah, bad. you're bullshit. I wanted to kill you. Urges running the business and all. I hate myself. Mm -hmm. Fuck off. Forgive him. But he becomes a vendor, so I always forgive him. But he sells some cool stuff. He sells his set, which is the black leather set. And then he sells his spear. Two shotels, if you'd like them. Like you can put one in each hand. Uh, and then a parrying dagger. He sells human pine resin, uh, some black fire bombs, a, a few embers, and then rusted coins is basically what you use them for. Uh, that's what I use them for. Um, and yeah. I can't find anything. Oh, you could try looking. Yeah, it's because I don't want to buy anything from you, you asshole. All right, but we are not done yet. This may be just an episode of exploring the odds and ends of Firelink. Um. <laughs> it was unintentionally like that, but shit, you know. The odds and ends of Firelink are actually really cool. Or they're at least in, you know, they're interesting. They're interesting little odds. Interesting little odds and ends for sure. And then you can kick that down and then you can get up here anytime you want because... <gasps> All right, so these they basically work exactly how you think they work. If you played a Souls game before, um, essentially here, I'll I'll do it with the Zigbrow. So they obviously like a Zigward Zigbrow. Because you get Armor of the Sun! Um, so there are very specific th items you give them. Jesus, that's from farming that stupid sword that I'm not even using anymore. Um, so they're very specific. Yes! Look at it! It's magnificent! Um, but there are very specific things you give them to get Solaire's set. Um, I believe his shield is the most... Like the most irritating call over. Oh, very good. So there's another little throwback to the DLC in Dark Souls One, um, which basically you use them like this. It's uh, Hawkeye Goff, I think. I think that's his name. Um, it's been a long time since I picked up Dark Souls. I don't know if leaving an Ember does anything. I honestly don't know what else to leave. 
Uh, but that's the specific reason I kept his Zigbrow um, all the time is because I wanted to get the chess piece. Um, I wanted to use it as a quick example. I don't know what else you give him though. Uh, give them because there's more than one. Uh, there's two of them, but I don't I don't know what else to leave. So that's the that's literally the extent of my knowledge when it comes to what you give them. Um, you can get the entire set of Solaire's gear, um, including the shield. And like I said, I believe the shield is the hardest one to get because I think you trade some weird. I think it's called the Medicant staff, and that's like an like end game farming. You have like shit that I do not have for farming. So we probably won't ever see his shield in this playthrough unless I get really, really, really lucky and get a Medicant staff in, um, in Dra uh, Dra Dragon Peak. Dragon Peak? Shit. I don't remember the name of it. We'll get there. My knowledge of this game, like, varies from, like, I know a lot and can tell you, like, lore and stuff to I know jack shit. It, now, is there anything else I need to do for this encounter here? I got him out of the well. I saw him at... Ah, oh, hell, I can't remember. And then, no, I said, yeah, I said we were going to go back this way oh no okay I know what I need to do so there's some stuff for Zigward um, you need to do before you'll get a certain story encounter um, but I'm going to do it because it is super super worth it and it's super satisfying um, because it's against a boss and it's kind of a throwback to how it used to go with uh, Demon Souls actually how that whole system worked and you know, like how the NPC is waiting in a boss room. It's, I don't know. It's just, it's well done. That's for sure. In my opinion. Come on. Oh. Ooh, can I kill it in a second? Um, so again, you can actually get the spear from them. Uh, two different kinds of it. Oh, I may have gotten one. Yeah, there's the gargoyle flame spear. That's actually a really cool drop. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to see it. That's what it looks like. It's exactly what it looks like. It's really cool looking. I, I don't know. I, I dig it if you can wield it. And then I said we were going to go back up here. Bum, ba dum bum, bum. Bum, bum, ba dum bum. All right, but unfortunately, we are coming to a close on this episode, so we are going to run back in here in just a second. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and like it. If you liked it a lot enough to subscribe, go ahead and smack that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment, question, concern, up yours. I loved it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I like comments. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in just a minute. Um, I love all of you lady, lovely ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a wondrous evening. Bye-bye.